complex and detailed process and plant designs can be turned into accurate and easy to create 3D models using SOLIDWORKS. Animations and walkthroughs are also simple to make, allowing better communication between all parties concerned in the design, construction and even installation of the project. Using the power of SOLIDWORKS, we can quickly turn existing 2D drawings from perhaps civil engineers or architects and from them create detailed three-dimensional layouts of even the most complex of systems. Here we will open the civil engineering data from a 2D package such as AutoCAD using Dasso Systems 2D program DraftSite. This free to download and fully functional CAD tool can import and manipulate DXF and DWG data. Having the ability to open the latest version of the popular DXF and DWG files allows us to be up to date with any engineering data. Using DraftSite, we can simply utilize common commands, shortcuts, and even hotkeys from other packages, allowing a 2D user to feel right at home. We simply save any modified drawings and open these directly into SOLIDWORKS. Typically, we would work with a plan view of a proposed site. So in our 3D model, let's place the existing layout on our top plane. From here, we can reuse the data to start creating 3D geometry. We can use some of the lines to create things like a floor or ground level. Simply extruding areas to particular heights and depths, we can create things like the fence that defines the property, and even then create additional features such as roadways. Once we've created some of the basic boundaries, we can apply a realistic texture to them by using a simple drag and drop texture and appearance tool. Here we can add some grass texture to the overall property and then apply a tarmac appearance from a variety of paving textures that are built into even the entry level SOLIDWORKS. Using one of the hundreds of textures, we can apply a cement appearance to the boundary wall, creating a more detailed and accurate impression of the site. Large projects often require collaborations between lots of companies managing the different areas within a proposed process and plant project. Using SOLIDWORKS we can easily open not just 2D data, but also a whole variety of different 3D files too. Neutral formats such as IGIS, STEP and Parasolid can be opened and manipulated using SOLIDWORKS easy to use and really intuitive interface. Along with those neutral formats, we can also open many native CAD files from other popular 3D tools allowing us to collaborate and reuse data with other vendors, suppliers and manufacturers. Here we can simply take the completed building model file and import it into our new property layout. If we were creating these buildings ourselves, we can use a special tool in SOLIDWORKS called Weldments to allow us to quickly detail even the most complex buildings using industry standard profiles along with any bespoke sections that you may be using. With this tool, which is even found in the standard versions of SOLIDWORKS, we can get a fully itemized cut list detailing the profiles used and quantities along with their associated lengths. Positioning the third party model is really easy. Here we'll just use relations and constraints to hold the geometry into the correct place with our intended layout plan. Once we have all of the important spaces defined within our overall layout, we can configure and specify any tailored equipment. Taking a general model of a bulk storage tank, we can configure it to be any size. In this case, we will create a storage tank to hold demineralized water. The tank will be 6 meters tall with an overall diameter of 12 meters. To this we can then add standard ports from our extensive library of features within our SOLIDWORKS database. Using this simple drag and drop method, we can create a bespoke tailored configuration of a bulk storage tank to our exact specification. Here we'll use some 4 and 8 inch ports along with a 2 inch vent port and then even a 24 inch manway cover. Let's now use this model in our overall general layout. Here we can quickly isolate the important geometry which will allow us to create some piping routes more easily. Using SOLIDWORKS piping and routing capabilities found in SOLIDWORKS Premium, we can quickly and easily create complex piping and ducting routes to link all of our equipment together. 
Here we will use an 8 inch weld on flange to start a new piping route. Again, using drag and drop, we can create a custom route from one 8 inch port to another. Using the correct pipes and associated elbows, we can even tell SolidWorks what standard lengths of piping we will be using to split long continuous lengths into their correct maximum length sections. In seconds, SolidWorks has linked the two items of equipment using straight lengths of pipe at 4 meters long, along with all of the necessary 90 degree elbows as specified in my original options. We can then specify all necessary dimensions for in this case the depth that the pipe will be positioned underground, which is 1 meter here. Also, we can use a standard list of readily available equipment to populate our route with details such as any valves, T's, reducers, gaskets and even filters that you might want to include. Here we'll use an assembled globe valve using a distance of 1200mm from the centre of the turn wheel to the ground, making operation of the valve accessible. Once we have our route defined, in a single button click we can create a detailed 2D technical drawing showing the route itself and also a full bill of materials showing the amount of pipe required and their associated lengths along with any other hardware used in the proposed pipe route, i.e. elbows, flanges and valves, etc. The 3D model can also be saved into PCF format. In a single click the data can be converted into an isogen file, ready to be used by Alias, which is another specialist piece of pipe routing software. Once we have defined some further routes, we can document the entire site layout, showing all of the necessary information. We can utilise tools such as detailed and section views, amongst many others. Once we have our 3D model completed, we can use it to create animated walkthroughs. Animation tools are generally complicated to use, however, using a simple drag and drop, we can position cameras into our assemblies. Here we have just used a sketch to define the route that we would like our cameras to follow. This will give us an idea of what walking around the facility would actually be like. We can specify particular camera angles along with their associated focus lengths and zoom levels. This allows us to capture exactly what we want to as we move along our defined path. Once we have this, it can be played back in either MP4 format or even through eDrawings, our free to download and use SolidWorks viewer. You can even get eDrawings on your mobile device, meaning you can access and play back your SolidWorks data on the move wherever you are. SolidWorks makes designing process and plant layouts a breeze. Get in touch with CADTECH now to see for yourself how the power of SOLIDWORKS can help you to streamline the process of creating detailed designs to share with others.